Today we're making a Lego marble maze. It's got four levels and it's four levels of fun. Today we're going to make a Lego marble maze. It's just a little bit of fun, a little bit different to what I normally do. But I always used to enjoy doing these. So let's put one together. Okay, so we just start with a basic frame. I like to use these small base plates uh, just because they're nice and compact. You don't have to worry about adding blocks to hold plates together. So here we go. We just put the outside here and uh, we're just going to start with maybe some edging here, perhaps. Now, as you see, we're not going to use a marble. We'll use a Lego marble, which is a football or a basketball. And that's pretty much the concept. So let's add a few more features to it. Now, we don't want to make it too easy, so let's put a little angle in there. And perhaps, maybe there's a little bit of a trap here. We're not really sure how to get through that. So maybe you can go down here, and then when you come here, you realize it's a dead end. So we'll put that one over there, and maybe you just get stuck over here. And yeah, we'll just find the right piece. So if you go down here, oh, it's a dead end. So you're gonna come down here, and where else are we gonna go? Well, there's maybe two options here. We can go that way or that way. Now, if you go that way, maybe you have to go down around here, but maybe there's a shortcut and maybe you get there quicker if you go that way. So the funny, the thing with these mazes are they can be, they're as simple as you want to make them or as hard as you want to make them. We can even use pieces like this create a bit of a different feel. We can even use pieces like that to create something a little bit different. So, so now we can just roll down here. Maybe we'll have another dead end just here. So we need a three piece. Okay, so it's looking pretty good so far. And then maybe you come through here. Maybe there's a little block. Yeah, just to create a little bit of a paint. Back. What I might do is I might just put all these blocks in here. Alright, so there's actually two ways to get out of this maze. Maybe you can take the shortcut, or if you don't realise it's a shortcut, you have to kind of work your way down this way. But to make it a little bit more interesting, let's add something special for the finish line. So, what we're going to do is make this maze a two story maze. And so I'll just add a few extra pieces right now. Let's put this piece on. And we need another three piece. Mm. I think I've used that already. So I'll just uh, add this piece here. And I'm going to add this little piece up here. And we'll add another one over here. Now the reason why I'm adding these pieces is because I want to add a special little finish line. And it's going to look a little bit like this. So in order to put one of these on, a little finishing flag, I'll just use a little lightsaber here. We'll take that off because that's about the right size fit. Now what I've done is I've put a little brick with a hole in it. And if I put another one on this side and pop that down like that, you should see that the checkered flag just flaps around. So now when your soccer ball or marble comes out, you actually finish the maze and go through the finish line. So we're going to go ahead and build some more levels to this because one level just isn't enough. Now, to do extra levels, you're going to need to make sure that you've got some supports for the plates above. So, just 
randomly just put a few pieces in like that. So that just makes it a little bit more sturdy on top. And put a piece in there and in there. Now normally you only need to go too high for a plate at the top. So we won't need to go any higher than that. We might just put one more in down over here. Okay, so that's our basic first level of our puzzle. We go in here and we try to find the solution here. Uh, and we come down here. Okay, on to level two. Okay, now we're ready for level two of the Lego Marble Maze. So before we do, because we're gonna be dropping in from level two, let's just fill up this hole here because that's no longer the starting point. But we'll just drop down into this hole here. So let's just put some plates on the top and see how it all looks. Okay, so that works out well. That's gonna be okay. And we just need to fill this little gap in here. And this little bit over here. So we probably just need another little block down here just to help support it. And we can pop that on there like that. And maybe we'll just fill in this little hole just here too. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now we need to add some flat bits for this edge. Uh, oops. Okay, well we need a, a two piece there, but we should be fine. All right, so now let's put some of these blocks on and build up the edges of the Lego Marble Maze. So let's put that on there. Yeah, we might just put that little bit on there. Okay, so we have to decide where we're gonna drop in. Now uh, we might drop in on this other side this time. So that's for something a little bit different. So we'll just pop that there. Probably need some threes. And we're gonna to have to block off this section here because it's no longer able to be used for this level anyway. So I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll just put a corner bit here perhaps. And we can just put a little bit out here or we can actually just put a little marker in there like that. That's fine. Okay, so we're gonna be dropping in over here. So let's have a look and see what we're gonna do with this puzzle. Now, before we had all of the blocks inside, but you can use a lot of different other elements that Lego provides. So here's one example. We could have this here will actually push people into this direction. But maybe, or maybe we do it this way. So it sort of pushes them in that direction. Now we could go forward, and if you go forward, then maybe you can cut through here. But really, we want you to go this way. So let's just try and make this a little bit of a puzzle here. So go forward there. Oh, out of bounds. You're gonna to have to try and figure out how to get back in again. Now, rather than have that one there, let's turn that around. And let's just help them out a little bit. Okay, because this, this, this maze is gonna be hard enough as it is. So we'll bring this forward a little bit too. Okay, so if they go here, it's definitely out of bounds. And we can put a couple of marker cones in there. And if they get stuck in there, we can also use one of these things to stop them from getting in the corner. And now they're kind of stuck. They have to figure out, they have to get back in there and maybe not go that way because that's the dead end. That's the dead end. Okay, so we come down through here and now we want to do something over here. So we've got to we can put a fence up. That's a pretty easy one to do. And what else have we got? Let's do another little corner bit. Oh, this is a cute little feature. Let's just add a little rat. Maybe he'll turn this way. Maybe he stops me from going down here. But you can still get over the rat's tail. There's no problems there. And maybe we'll pop one there too. So you've got to come through here and then down here. And yes, almost there. But 
No, you've got to go around it one more time. Maybe that's a little trap. And we're going to figure out how to get down there. And just to finish it off, we might put another one of these cones here. All right, so then you drop down into the next level and you're going to figure out how to get through the maze. It's not as easy as it looks because you can't really see what's going on. But there we go, we got through. So that's the end of level two. Next, we'll do level three. Okay, now we move on to the third level of the Lego Marble Maze. I've gone ahead and added another level up here so I can put a lid on top. So let's go ahead and do that now. Thought someone, something was a bit loose there, but it wasn't. Okay, so we'll just put this last little piece on here and we're ready to go. So this time when we drop in, we might drop in, I don't know, what do you think? Over this side? Let's drop in from over here. So let's start and build this edge up first. And we'll get the full edge done again. Oops, it's a bit too big. Okay, it looks like we're good to go. So if we drop in from here, we could use these things here, which are too high as well. We'll just double check that. And yep, they're too high. So we could just have these randomly put in here. This is an interesting one though. I like this idea. So maybe they've got to go to the end. Maybe they'll go to the end here. And there's a little trap in case they don't figure that out. And maybe they have this little thing in here where the ball has to come in and you have to kind of get it around because if you go too far, then maybe there's something else happening. So if we do that there, maybe you've got to come in around here and then around down there. So let's do that and then you kind of end up this way to get out of here. So that could be quite an easy level for people. But then we'll just put that there and that just makes it a little bit more difficult, doesn't it? Okay, so if they come down here, then they pass. And if they don't, well, then they're gonna get stuck into this little area here. And maybe we just have like a special uh, construction zone Thing here so it pushes them further down there maybe or maybe they just get stuck down there like that so they come in here and they're like oh I've got to figure out how to get down here and maybe it's as simple as that we can't make it that easy for you can we so let's just pop one in there okay so let's just have another look at that they come down into here maybe they get stuck in here like that and now they're kind of like stuck there and that's that. So I think we're ready to go again. Yeah, we don't want that to happen, do we? If they go that way, we don't want them to actually go through. So let's try that again. We don't want them to go through there. We're gonna get stuck. Aha, locked, perfect. If they go that way, that's not so bad. But we want that to be a little bit more difficult as well. All right, so I think that's pretty much it for this level. So next level will probably be the last one. We'll do level four. Okay, it's time to finish off the Lego Marble Maze. So let's do the last level now. We'll just put this uh, floor on first. Uh, let's just see if we can figure out where everything's going to go. Perhaps there. Perhaps there. Yep. And, and that's it there, finally. So we're going to be dropping in over here. So we need to actually work out where do we want to start. Let's 
just start, well, what if we just start in the same corner where we finish? So we'll put all these blue plate plates on first. that one through too well, did I? Let's put a four on there. Ah, that looks better. Put this one over here. Yeah, we still need a three. And a two. So, let's get one of these instead. And we'll put a two there. So, that's the top layer. I'm going to do a little bit something a little bit different for the uh, starting position. We're going to have that there, and we're going to have a little, little little thing here to stop people from getting starting too soon. Let's just get that in there. Oh, yeah, that's another very good one. Let's try this one. That's much better. Okay, so we put that there. And we want something to tell people that it's actually the start and then it's a timer, so we'll put that on that side. And we'll put this here. Okay, that's another part of the study gate. We're really happy with this one here. Let's try that. No, that's worse. Okay. We're going to run with that, and maybe another three here. Okay, so when you're starting off, you get ready to go, and then you launch into the maze. So, the first thing you'll need to do when launching into this maze, okay, so we're going to be running into these things. First of all, you've got to get through the little arch, and then you'll be jumping into some flowers and the flowers are everywhere so let's just make sure that we can get the ball through and there's another flower here well, that's going to stop you from getting in maybe there's one over here too maybe you've got to try to squeeze in there or something so, well, it's not going to make it easy for you. Okay, so maybe you can go through there to start with. And you've got to move around the back and around this side. So, we just make it a little bit more difficult, I think. But I want the first level to be fairly easy because we want to get people interested. So the top level is just a little bit of fun, really. It's when you get into the second, third, and fourth levels that it starts to get really difficult because you're flying blind. Okay, that seems to work pretty well. We'll just add a little block of piece here. And we just make sure that we can actually get the ball in there. So I'm going to roll down here, around the corner, and around the back here. Oh, blocked. Oh, can't get in there. Oh, oh, there we go. And we're in. So that looks pretty cool the way it is.
and this is the final Lego marble maze. Have a try at making one yourself. And don't forget to share your video in the comments below. Please like and subscribe, and bye for now.